So I'm officially running out of shampoo and conditioner and it's not like any of the black beauty stores are trying to open because coronavirus. But wash day is wash day and the show must go on. I also figured I would be a responsible citizen and wait until I actually had to head out for essential toiletries and then use that opportunity to see what else I could find whilst I was already in store. Now I love boots, but it's not like I expect them to have all the products that I'm typically used to. So I figured I would bring you guys along so that you can see how to select products and still have a successful wash day for high porosity hair or any other type of hair for that matter of fact, even if you can't get your hands on the products that you are typically used to. I'll also be bringing you guys behind the scenes for my entire wash day where I'm going to be trying out all of these new products so make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so that you don't miss out on any of that. Okay guys I've got my cap because it's raining outside, I've got my hood, I'm gonna go get me some hand sanitizer and we're good to go. Yeah you guys quarantine is not fun. Uh, I don't think it's been fun for any of us, but it also did get me thinking that even outside of this lockdown, even outside of quarantine, that there will be times where for one reason or the other, you won't be able to get a hold of your favorite or your staple products. And it's in these situations where it's especially useful, not just to have an understanding of your hair's needs, but also of the ingredients that are going to meet those needs for your hair. This way, you're not a sitting duck and you're not just haphazardly buying products just because it has a big brand name attached to it or because it's being marketed as doing something that you're not even sure whether your hair needs or not. So yeah, so hopefully, hopefully this trip is not a wasted one. We'll see what they have at Boots and try and make the most of it. So for the past few weeks I have been using my Tresemme clarifying shampoo but honestly I don't think I can use that shampoo for one more week without it being a serious dryness problem. So I need either a co-wash right now or a moisturizing sulfate free shampoo. Thankfully Shea Moisture has a good range out here. This right here, what's this? The Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Shampoo. Okay, it says, clean and restore extremely dry, brittle hair. Yikes. <laughs> At me, why don't you? So if you guys remember from my last video, I spoke about the surfactants that you can typically find in moisturizing sulfate-free shampoos. So we're looking for cocomidopropyl betaine. Okay, that's the second ingredient. Just scanning through the other ingredients. Ooh, we've also got tetrasodium EDTA in here. Fabulous. So at least we know that I can get a good key lay out of this shampoo. Honestly, I think I might as well just go for this one. Okay guys, so the next thing we need is a conditioner. I have high porosity hair, which means that my hair can do with a lot of protein. Now I've run out of all of my protein containing conditioners. Um, I think the only one I have left is my Cresset Pello and that only has hydrolyzed silk and it's quite far down in the ingredients list. And I'm not due for a major protein treatment for another couple weeks. So right now I need a deep conditioner that has a wide range of proteins because it's going to need to be able to tide me over for the next couple weeks until I can actually do a proper protein treatment. So actually my process here is I am trying to do an initial scan of any hair masks that say strengthening or super strengthening because that's a usual giveaway that it might contain protein so I'm not just picking random products but at the same time a lot of these products that actually say super strengthening or whatever don't contain many if any protein so that's why I still have to scan the ingredients thereafter. So I actually just came across this Tony and Guy range damage repair it's got a shampoo and it has a conditioner and it says hair becomes stronger and more resilient with every wash and they've got a damage repair mask it says fiber strengthening system hair becomes stronger and more resilient with every use now I've never used this product before so I'm not gonna deny that it might actually make your head stronger but it is very easy for somebody to find this product and think, oh, it's a strengthening thing. If I need protein in my head, I need to strengthen my head, then I'm going to get this. But scanning the entire ingredient list, and I don't think there are any proteins in this whatsoever. Don't be bamboozled, guys. Read the ingredients. Let's see if any of the... Okay, this same brand, or rather this same range, this Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. We've got hydrolyzed protein, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, about 20 something ingredients down the list, so that's not going to cut it. I would have gone with this, the Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. So we've got hydrolyzed keratin, hydrolyzed vegetable protein. That's two. It's not quite as many as I would like. Also not as high up as I would typically like, but I will come back for this if I don't find anything else. Now we're just picking random brands. 
I was about to show you guys this product that I found that could actually be really good and it is the Bondi Boost Miracle Hair Mask. It doesn't have that many proteins in it but it does have two. It has hydrolyzed quinoa and hydrolyzed Brazil nut protein but <laughs> your girl just saw the price and no. $25.99? It's okay. We move still. Okay, uh, this husk, husk, is that how you pronounce it? Husk argan oil from Morocco. Okay, they've got these packs. Okay, so this says strengthens, restores, and smooths dry, damaged hair. Okay. So, ingredient number six is hydrolyzed rice protein. So that's good. Number seven is hydrolyzed collagen. Winning. Hydrolyzed keratin. Silk amino acids. Hydrolyzed soy protein. Wow, okay, this is protein packed. Um, oat amino acids. Right, okay, guys, I think we might have a winner. Seven, seven proteins in here of all different sizes, so I think I might get this, but problematic, there is only one left. Oh, this is awkward. I might have to ask them if they have any more. So in theory, this should actually work really, really well. So we'll put that in the basket. Listen guys, you girls out here in this coronavirus trying to make quality content for you guys. If this is not dedication, I don't know what is. So if you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And also if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future content. Okay, back to business. The last thing that I need to get are some moisturizing products. Now, obviously again, I already have high porosity hair, so I need as much moisture retention reinforcement as possible. And so what I'm gonna need are some moisturizers that have a good balance of conditioning ingredients, of oils and butters, as well as storm forming humectants. The good thing is though, I actually haven't run out of my Curl Love Moisture Milk and I still have all my staple moisturizers at home. So I don't know that it's worth me getting some more right now just because I don't think I'm gonna run out in the next couple weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get all the other things that I actually came here for and I will see you guys at home. Okay guys, so I've just gotten home. I'm gonna go grab myself something to eat really quickly and I'm gonna catch up on Tiger King and then we're gonna get into this wash day. Honestly, you guys, this show was actually crazy. I feel like I'm the last one to watch the show, but it literally just keeps getting crazy every single episode. They're literally all as bad as each other. Everyone in this show is left. Wow. It's actually, it's actually crazy. This whole thing is nuts. <sighs> anyway, look at me sitting here like we don't have a wash day to do. All right, my cool cats and kittens, let's get into this wash day. So this is the Husk protein pack I found in Boots. It was the last one they had, so I figured since I still had a little bit of my Cresce Pelle left, I would just mix the two together so that it would be enough for me. So the first thing I do is to get underneath the shower and section my hair into four sections to make it easier to manage, also to minimize matting and to make sure that I clean my entire head properly without missing any sections that I otherwise might have missed if I was washing my hair all together in one. I'm going to go through my entire head and twist up each of these sections and my hair will remain in these four sections throughout this whole process until I'm ready to style. So I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair Shampoo. So I will typically work on half of my head at once. I'm applying the shampoo to my scalp, holding the twist taut, again to prevent matting and also to give me easy access to my scalp. And I'm massaging the shampoo into my scalp to make sure that it is getting a thorough cleansing. Once I'm done with my scalp, I'll basically just squeeze the excess downwards to clean the length of my hair. And I will also temporarily unravel the twist to make sure every hair is getting some shampoo before I then loosely twist it back up and repeat for all the other sections. Now that I've rinsed out all the shampoo from my hair, I'm going around my entire head and applying the deep conditioner mix section by section. Once I get to the last section, instead of twisting it back up, I will start detangling with my easy brush before retwisting and moving on to all of the other sections. Mm -hmm. 
you will see me alternating between brushing my hair from the front and then brushing my hair from the back. There's really not much rhyme or reason to why I do it this way. I just find that it helps me get through detangling quicker so that I'm not just doing it all in one section and I'm also not putting too much tension on one particular part of my head. Now that my entire head is completely detangled, I'm going to take my microfiber hair towel and pour some hot water over it and wring it out before wrapping that around my head to create some heat. The idea is that the heat will encourage my cuticles to open up and absorb the conditioner and then the shower cap is going to go on top of it just to slow the rate of heat loss for about 15 minutes until I take it off and rinse out the conditioner. This step is more beneficial for low porosity hair types as high porosity hair is basically already open and receptive, but hey, I'm going to consider it a bonus. Whilst I'm rinsing out the conditioner, again you can see me unraveling the twists and massaging my scalp to make sure that I don't leave any conditioner residue on my scalp or in my hair as this can lead to itching and flaking. Now once I've rinsed out all the conditioner, I will typically keep my hair in a shower cap whilst I'm moisturising in order to stop my hair from losing all the moisture before I get a chance to seal it in with my moisturisers. So the first step in my moisturising routine is a Camille Rose Moisture Milk. I apply enough of this to coat the entire section, focusing the initial application on the ends and working upwards towards my roots. Again, this helps to ensure that I don't mistakenly apply products directly onto my scalp. I then follow this with a whipped mix of my favourite butters and oils and humectants and then I finally seal with the kinky curly curling custard. Now I know this product was formulated as a styling gel but it is packed with so many plant gels and film forming humectants that it works so so well at locking in and maintaining moisture levels in the hair which is very helpful for high porosity hair and the best part about using film forming humectants is that even when my hair does dry it is still soft and still feels notably moisturized and every time my hair comes into contact with water whether that's from a spray bottle or steam from the shower it reactivates the film forming humectants and my hair literally feels like it did on day one. Honestly, if you haven't already seen my video on this, then please click the link to the video that has just popped up on the screen and help me help you. So I'm just going to go through and repeat the same process for my entire head, starting with the Camille Rose, then following with the whipped buttercream and then sealing with the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Once my entire head is moisturized, I will move on to styling and my hair is usually in one or two twisted buns. Seeing as I still have my part from how my hair was last week, I'm just going to keep that so that I don't have to do the extra work. So I'm starting by unraveling the twists on one side of my head and gathering all the hair together to go into a hair tie. I'm using the easy brush to help stretch the hair so that it lays flat. I'm not detangling that whole section. I already did that earlier, so that would be unnecessary and not to mention that's unnecessary damage that no one needs. And then once that's all in the hair tie, I will twist that and do the same thing for the other side. And let me just quickly at myself before you guys at me. I know my part is crooked and guess what? Everybody will be okay. So once I have the two twists, I'm just going to take this thin black hair tie and wrap it around these two twists just to help my hair lay as taut and flat as possible as it dries. Lastly, I'm just going to take the Curls Blueberry Bliss Edge Control just so that I make sure I'm getting those last few flyaways. And of course, you know a girl's gotta do those edges. I prefer to do it with a rat tail comb instead of a brush just because I feel like it's easier on my edges to not have the brush. And 
Now I'm just going to take some bobby pins and pin up the twists around each other at the back to make sure that my ends are safely tucked away and plus it looks kind of cute. So guys, that was literally my entire wash day. This is what we're looking like with the finished product. I'm pretty sure my part is off center and it's not even straight down the middle, but really, who's gonna see me? Actually, you guys are gonna see me, shucks. Well, look, <laughs> I tried, okay? Let me know how you guys are coping in this pandemic without any of your favorite products because it's real out here. I think I just about got enough to last me for this week and next week. So I don't know what I'm gonna do after then. Hopefully I will be out again in a couple weeks to get all the essential things that I need. So hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a lovely weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye.